Here, The Great Gatsby, a book by the only respected guy in the world named Scott. It was my first summer staying at the shore, but I had a feeling that I, Nick the Situation Caraway, would fit right in. Hey, it's Nick from The Great Gatsby. I just checked in and somebody left their teeth here. I, I don't know, it's just a, a set of teeth? I, I guess, men's? No, I'm not putting them anywhere. You come and get them. Ugh, the neighbors are having a party with loud jazz music. Well, at least annoyingly scatting over jazz hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> oh, that must have been invented today! Hey, whose party is this? I'm not sure. Women aren't allowed to ask questions yet. So, what's your name? Madam, you forget yourself. That's when I first laid eyes on him. Jay Gatsby. He was clearly playing with himself through his pocket, but I pretended not to see. Hello, welcome to my party. Name's Gatsby. Good to meet you, old sport. Yeah, just a wave is fine. I I'm your new neighbor, Nick Carraway. Oh, I hope we weren't too loud, old sport. Yeah, this old sport thing, is this, is this something you're trying out, or is this a keeper? I just met you, so I want to tell you something very private. Let's go out to the dock. I come down here to think every night and gaze at that green light. It's where the love of my life lives, Daisy Buchanan. Um, I hate to break it to you, but that light you've been looking at is a gay gym called the Pump House. I, I only know that because I, I saw a coupon that came with my rental. Um, anyway, Daisy's house is over there. She's my cousin. Daisy's your cousin? Yeah, a lot of weird coincidences for an American classic, huh? What? I have to see her. Well, I can set that up. Um, only thing is, she's married. Yeah, and I hear her husband's a real heel. Whoa, language! But yeah, I'll set it up. Um, tea tomorrow at my house, 2 p.m. Great. She's... she's gonna be there, right? Yeah, why wouldn't she be there? I don't know, I'm just getting a funny vibe from you. You ask me down to the docks alone, and you're getting a funny vibe from me? Wow, what an ugly little house. Oh, yeah, it's not that palace of domestic abuse you live in. What's up? Oh, my God. Is it really you? Oh, I've missed you, Daisy. You're as beautiful as ever. You know what else is beautiful? My bank account. Boom! Rich guy. You're rich now? Oh, my God, I love that! I know, right? Come on, I'll show you my place. Oh, you're leaving? But I made all these deviled eggs. You made? You know what I meant. Yeah, you made them. Great job. You know, one of the best parts of having an enormous mansion is being able to come out here and get some fresh air. You know, sometimes I just want to jump off this balcony and into that pool down there. So do it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah, do it. I know, I totally should, right? Here I go. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, I, I can't imagine. It would be fun. You should do it. <laughs> if only it were that easy, right? It is. It, it looks deep enough. It's your pool. It's your house. You can do whatever you want. I know, right? Oh, you know what? I can't right now. My pool guy's cleaning it. to bone her? This is amazing. I've never seen so many shirts. D do you have enough to, you know, throw? Yeah, you know, they're, they're actually kind of expensive. Oh, there she goes. Shirt, 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 shirt. Okay, five is good. Five is, is probably good. Shirt, shirt. 
<laughs> were you, uh, were, were you this crazy when we dated before? Mm, Gatsby, is it? I've been hearing about your vast newly acquired wealth and your attentions to my wife. So, I thought I would have you over to my equally large and fancy but imperceptibly more classy mansion for an awkward dinner. And Nick, have you met Jordan? She plays golf and is what kids will someday call a duff. Hey, yeah. Nice tam o -shanter. I'll drink your finger bowl if you don't want it. In the book, I actually go on a few dates with Jordan. We're gonna skip all that. Anyway, like I was saying, you're a trash because you earned your money a little bit more recently than me. What are you getting at? I'm saying I invited you over and sat you next to my wife to say, stay away from my wife. You know what we should do? Let's all drunk drive into Manhattan and get a hotel room and have the same conversation we're having here. I'm starting to think this isn't a very good book. I'd like to add another bit of pointless confusion that will make sense later. Let's everyone drive somebody else's car. Someone can take my coupe. I'm riding with Gatsby. I don't care which car. I'll take someone in Daisy's car. I don't think Daisy said you could drive her car. Tom, why don't you take Jay's car? Who's Jay? Gatsby. Okay, I've never heard anyone call him that. Look, if you're in your own car, you're in the wrong car. All right, you guys get gas. I gotta talk to this random mechanic's horny wife about some business. Wilson, gonna need to fill her up. Wilson's wife, fill her up, get it? <laughs> I don't know what they do up there, but they sure do listen to Def Leppard pretty loud. So, have you seen any good movies lately? We just saw a woman tied to railroad tracks fine. Pretty similar to four. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, it looks like you guys are getting a head start on the depression here. Thanks for stopping by, Mr. Buchanan. Yeah, sure. Don't tell anyone how bad I look naked. Have fun raising my basket. All right, let's head out. Wait, but first, I want to see if we're in the funny horn era. Ah, <gasps> uh -huh, we are! All right, Gatsby, you think you're so hot? Let me show you how a classy guy does classy stuff. Hello, room service. I'd like a bottle of your second most expensive champagne. And I'd like your most expensive bottle. Wow, walked right into that one. Okay, fine. Well, then let's see who has higher socks. Yeah. -ha! Whatever, Tom. None of that matters. Daisy's in love with me. In fact, she's never loved you. Oh, is that so? Well, I hear Gatsby didn't even fight in World War I. Wait, why is he calling it that? Is there gonna be another big war? I'm sorry, Tom. That's right. I'm in love with Daisy and she loves me, old sport. Would anyone like a deviled egg from a tea I had several days ago? Well, that was awful, but I sure do enjoy driving your car instead of you driving it, even though we came in a different car. Drunk. Don't forget, drunk. You're drunk driving my car. Gas and sandwiches. Get your gas and sandwiches. <gasps> oh, that must be Tom since I saw him in that car earlier. Tom! Tom, it's me! <laughs> oh, no! Myrtle! Where will I ever find another woman with a hotter name than Myrtle? All right, Poole, do your thing. You hung over? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay, we're sort of racing to the end here. And with that, I shall step slightly out of range. All right, I'm just gonna take a quick swim. Oh my God, where are the stairs? There's no stairs! I'm never gonna make it! standing earlier in the day next to the car that hit my wife. Oh, oh! 
I would soon return to New York a changed man, because for me, that will always be the summer that I finally put my head underwater. I, I did it! I did it! Ah, I wish somebody had seen that. <laughs>